hello guys welcome to my channel so today i have iphone 6s plus with ios 14.8 and today i'm going to show you how to how you can jailbreak your iphone using a windows pc so first of all you need some softwares which you will need to download in order to get it running uh, i will post all these links in the description plus all the information you will be required like the ios which are supported by the, this software and uh, what kind of phones you can like jailbreak using this these steps which i'm gonna tell you in this video so for software you will need this it's, it's the chakrain I don't know how, we, how to pronounce it, it says it's check rain. so let's get this one first and second, if you don't have it already in your computer then you will need this win RAR so get the the version according to your according to your windows, like I have windows 64 bit so let's get this one you can see it's down there so third software you need is this Rufus okay download this one the latest version all right so I got all these three in my download downloads folder so let's pull up the downloads folder oh still I think there is one still pending yeah we got that too all right, these three softwares are needed for this jailbreak. All right, so first we will have to open this software, the Rufus one. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, so second thing you need is a, is a some kind of flash drive like I got this one right here I will be using this one 64 gigs I think the minimum is two two gigs which you can use for this process so let's get it rolling you can see here Let me zoom in a bit right you see here these are the three softwares which I got from the website which I will link below and I can see the flash drive which I just plugged in here all right I think all the settings are good uh, okay we just need to select the file click here the select all right button. so I have changed the camera angle so you can see it more clearly uh, actually I have deleted one file you can see right here uh, there are only two left uh, one is deleted because uh i accidentally downloaded the wrong one i will provide the link for the real thing which you will need so this is the one which you will need just hit download you can see it, it's downloaded there so let's go back to our download folder this is the file which you will need all right i'm sorting everything so that you can see it. all right so in case if you don't have this already installed just double click on it click yes hit install i'm not gonna do it because i already have one so if you don't just get this installed all right so next step okay you see this one we have already downloaded that one just right click on it extract the files here okay we only need one file out of it which is this one right this right here it says check in windows it, it's an iso file you can see right here it says disk image file so i'll keep it like this open the rufus software okay 
now you need to make a selection so hit select go to make sure you're inside the download folder as I am so select this right here it's this image file you can see click OK hit start Alright, in ISO image recommended, so hit OK. It will say a warning sign. Make sure there is nothing on this uh, flash drive. Anything important should be deleted or kept in a different place before doing this. Or hit OK. Let's close this folder. Right, make sure. I think it is done. Hopefully, it is. So, our next step is going to be booting up the computer using our flash drive. So, in order to do that, you have to turn off your computer. Right here, I will hit turn off. Shut down right here. Okay, so every computer have different oh, different buttons to get into that mode. So on my PC, it's F11. All right, it's not okay. All right, I'm gonna turn on my computer and then gonna hit F11 key at the same time. I will keep pressing it. All right, here we go. It's the boot right here. Hold on, I am. So give the priority. It says boot option. Give the priority to to your to your USB. I'm clicking on this one. All right, just click exit, save. All right, save and exit. Yes. I don't think we will have to press the L11 key or F2 key again, so should be good to go. Alright, so we will have to press the F11 key. Just keep pressing it. Alright, I just figured it out that I will have to click on this, the first, first option. It says the partition one. Uh, just try both of these which one I don't know which one will work for you guys so I'm gonna hit this one here we go magic alright so it looks like it's working now we need to connect our iPhone. Right, if you are using iPhone 8 or 10, make sure you you don't have any passcode or anything on it. You can see I, I'm using iPhone 6s Plus. Let's connect your iPhone. It says sorry, this iPhone is not supported, but iOS like the, but iOS 14.8 is not. It says iPhone is supported, but iOS 14.8 is not. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna all right so one more thing trust all right go to the option menu all right here is an option stating that allow untrusted ios ipad hit enter make sure it's marked and there's one more thing there's one more thing uh, you see it says dark blockchain just uncheck this one if, if this one is checked on your your thing so make sure all right if you have iphone 8 and 10 i said you must you must uh, uh, remove your passcode before doing this one more thing you will have to do uh 
you have to check this one skip all bpr check all right this option right here last second one skip all bpr check uh we don't need to do anything all right we're gonna go back because we don't have iphone 8 or iphone 10. all right just hit start there's a warning sign press enter all right next entering recovery mode so you can see here it's plugged in and this thing is in recovery mode so now you will have to follow these steps as per your iphone all right on mine it says press and hold the side and home button together it's four means i think it's four seconds so i'm gonna do that and after that I'll release the side button but keep holding the home button for the next 10 seconds so press and hold the side and home button okay side means this one all right let's do it together okay release the side button and keep holding the home button okay four seconds one two three four holding the home button for 10 seconds oh no i think i think we will have to hit start at the same time so let's do it again hit start one two three all right I think it's doing something. I think it's gonna take longer than I expected. I think. Um, if, you, if you're using this iPhone right here, uh, if this year break, the only downside is that you will have to do it again if, if you actually have to turn off your iPhone. So keep that in mind, you will have to repeat this process again and again. There's no permanent solution for that, but this is 100% like it, and you can use it for your CarPlay and many other things. Like, I basically use this for my Apple CarPlay. I can like, play uh, YouTube or any other apps on straight to my CarPlay. This seems pretty. It would take a moment if it was actually possible, and Jordan doesn't understand it. And second thing, make sure you have uh, USB-C, USB, uh, uh, your standard USB to lightning. Like, not the one with Type-C to lightning, like so it's not gonna work. Alright, so previously I have encountered a problem with the with PC, so I decided to use a laptop. So here we go. Let's see what happened this time. Okay, enter. So it's, it's working now, you can see here. I think it might be the problem with my computer back there. Uh, yeah, just try a different computer or thing. Do that, do the same step. Okay, it says booting here. So it's all done. I don't know what's that. Turn from my account with an inventory for your purchase. Let's close this for now. Okay, hit enter. Right, I can see Syria right here, but you guys don't gonna see it because this, this iPhone was jailbroken before, so 
just hit here you will see Syria get it reinstall Syria just do it I'm gonna do it uh, can see a here. Uh, these are some of the results.